Well, uh, as you can see, I've only when I caught a fish. About time, if you ask me. I've uh, been here since about 12 o'clock, it's now about 5. I've lost a quite sizable fish before. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. But this one's just uh, ripped off after the reposition of the rod. A little bit of local knowledge never hurt anybody. But uh, I'm not going to tell you the venue I'm on. It's a uh, private, sneaky, sneaky kind of stuff. I'm repositioning the rod five minutes later. Well, not even that, two minutes later. This little fella rips off about five pounds. Does me all day long, not blanking. Does me. Oh, lovely little comment. Very, very welcome. Very welcome. Right. I'll uh, run through the rig now and uh, catch you in a minute. Right, yeah, rig. Two ounce distance. The quick change underneath here uh, to buff a bead. Meter weight of proper leg core, because I ran out of a uh, sub fox submerge. This is just a fox leg core, pre made. I, I haven't bothered trying to splice that. Um, shoddy, slightly more worse for wear at the moment. Um, here with the CC more dairy cream. Pop up on it. Took me about six attempts to get it in the, in the right spot, but uh, once I got it in there, two minutes worth. You know, so it's all being being in one spot for a good couple of hours through the day. And, um, and I just decided to change spots because it didn't feel right over there anymore. So changed it over there, put that there, scattered about. I don't think I finished that. Put a handful of boilies out. Um, and it ripped off. Literally took off. I was sitting next to it as well, which is good. But um, quite happy with that, just the new rod, new new alarms, new bobbins. The case is over, no more blank, thank god. But um Yeah, I'm on, I'm on a venue now. I should really, really be uh, filming on what I should, you know. There's no real see you can't but you know, there's a couple of lads here that don't really want us to do a lot of film, so I'm not gonna name it. But um this morning I've got here and uh, cast over the other side of the bank uh, through the that shot in, but it was a different style. It was a, a Fox SR Bible, it was. Uh, got an absolutely screaming take. Uh, I filled my pants, let's put it that way. Um, and it absolutely took off. They uh, took off, and I don't want a slack line, which is a bit of a mistake in here, to be honest, in, in my opinion. Um, never fished slack line in here because they, they, they just snagged everywhere. Uh, kited into a bush and I thought, oh, I've lost it, I've lost it, so kept pre pressure on it. And um, there was a young lad here actually at the time that you know wanted to see what was going on. They didn't film it or not, and I wasn't going to film today to be honest, but um, cause it was a lot off last minute thing, but uh, anyway. Uh, so I thought, oh, I put the rod down and went round to see if I could see where the fish was. Um, I thought I definitely fell off with being barbless and that. Um, but uh, couldn't see it, didn't know where it was, so baffled me. I came back around here and um, literally pointed my rod at it, just flat flat rodding myself. I pulled a bit, and then the next thing, this almighty eruption hit from inside the bush. I was like, ah, oh, no, it's it. I'm still on it, it's in the bush. So, anyway, you know, you know what you do, different lines, different pressures. I'll see if I can, see if I can find the line where it comes through, thinking there's no way I'm going to get this fish back out again. I've only got 12 pound line on. Uh, that ESP synchro, but I'll tell you something. I feel it great and didn't even give in. Um, anyway, got the fish out in there after a, a long, a long ten minutes. I think it was. Uh, felt like I was on it for an hour. Got it out, uh, playing a fish in front of me, and it just pops off. And I just <sighs> throw me back onto the floor. The lad next to me was like, "Oh, unlucky mate. It was a nice fish, you know. It was, it was a decent sized fish." Um, anyway, like, like I did the needle, needle place. Don't dwell on it. Tart of salt, I did a little bit. I had to have myself some Pringles. Um, got myself back into the same spot. Same bait, boilies, bait, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then the lads just asked me where if you could fish in the back pond with me, which is it's only tiny, it's only small. Um, and he did, and he saw to me in the next thing, he's got some R3s, which are, which are quite fancy. Um, he, he got one bleep, two bleep, three bleep, and then it just took. 
really fish and locked up and it's just, it's just a needs to say his rod went for a dive so some crafty a uh, jigging from me i ended up taking my rods out going really hooking into his, his bail arm luckily enough pulled his rod up he pulled the fish uh, pulled well, pulled the fish pulled the rod in and he had the fish on the end surprisingly enough lovely a uh, lovely fish like a uh, scaly one i didn't get a faulty that it took photos for him but it wasn't my fish so i didn't take photos of it it was only about the same size as one I was out there, the common. But the scaly ones, the ones that you want in here. Um, but the one I had lost before was a big minnow. And there's only a few of them in here. Um, there you go, one of them. But I'm hopefully going to come back here after work through the week. Um, but as I say, this was a last minute trip for me. My missus, uh, what took out today by sister, then she says, Well, you got the rest of the day to yourself, what do you want to do? So, uh, what else did you do? Go fish. Um, but. Yeah, well, unfortunately my time is up here at the moment. It's only a short vlog, sorry about that folks. But, um, you know, it doesn't matter. Go to fish, go to fish at last for you, you know. But uh, keep, your, keep your comments coming, keep your uh, subscriptions coming. Some of the comments I'm getting are fantastic by the way. And the questions about different venues as well and where I'm going to fish and how to fish different venues, they're, they're all they're already welcome. I'm afraid there can't be much help on some venues because I just haven't fished or I haven't been fishing or won't be fishing or, you know, one of them, but keep them coming. I want to know, I know uh, all your different, all your different things, all your different views. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll turn you around so you can see where I've been fishing. fishing here and here different spots of the day I've had a couple of twitchy takes and then we have been fishing excuse me oh, it's blurry that sorry sorry folks right I've got an absolute screaming take from here the cast over here and threw it in here with a handful of oilies and then a bit of inside info <sighs> I don't know whether you can quite see what over over here the cast I'll actually cast and hit the top of that branch where is it where am I this branch I clip that branch with, with my rig because you got the scuff oh, I thought oh no if it's a tree but I went in I went in with all my teeth you know you, you know when it's presented well it was a child who was going to be presented and uh, I need to say two minutes later I had a fish on the bank but it tried to take me into these trees here yeah, it tried to get me into this but but uh, I've got one on the board, but I'm um, just saying my session's now cut short. So, give me a subscription, let me know some more uh, things. And hopefully, I'll have a longer vlog for you next time because I'm hopefully going back to Langley soon. I'll be back here after work on Tuesday, whether I film it is a different thing because I'm coming straight after work. Right, catch you again. <laughs>